Hey everyone, it's Desi Chang, and right here is the Lenovo 500 Multimedia Controller. It's a touchpad, mouse, and keyboard all in this one small, tiny little package. So, what do I think about it? Well, it's been taking a little bit of time to get used to it, but I think overall it's a great device if uh, you're owning a home theater system and you don't want to have a full-size keyboard um, around. When it came, it just came with a small, just this small device and this uh, Bluetooth dongle, um, USB Bluetooth dongle, and uh, it's plug and play, so you don't need to download any drivers, which I love. Oh, I, I hate downloading drivers and you know installing things like printers, but <laughs> this is very simple. It works with Mac and also PC, but not so much Mac. Um, I use Mac mostly, and um, some of the gestures don't really work. So this one works more, you know, it's, it's better if you're using a PC platform. So what are some of the functionalities? Well, at the very bottom there, it's kind of like a mouse. You have your, you know, left click and your right click. The entire thing is a touchpad, so you can move your finger around just like a mouse. Um, it is a uh, tap, tap to click function. Whoops. Boom. Sometimes a little bit finicky and a little bit sensitive, but it just kind of depends. And also on the thing itself, you can actually increase and decrease the sensitivity of your mouse. So if you click uh, function F9, you decrease the sensitivity. So as you can tell when I'm moving, and I really, really want to get fine-tuned mouse gestures, you can kind of see how small it is. However, if I go to function F10 and press it a couple times, it increases it and I can go much faster in and around. So that's a great option. You can also control volume, press play, uh, pause, you know, anything you do with a normal multimedia controller. There's also gestures. So, you know, you can um, scroll up and down. So if we click something like this, for example, tap to click and we let it load, internet slow you can scroll. The scrolling feature is not as refined as say something that you'd find on an actual scrolly wheel mouse or some trackpads like even the Mac. It is sometimes a little bit finicky or a little bit sensitive, but it's not that smooth, which is one thing I don't like about it. Uh, another thing that they could improve upon is the, uh, the actual case. So to access it, or to turn it on, you have to, the on-off switch is right back here. And you kind of have to pry your fingernails or use a coin or keys to open up this back compartment. Uh, that's where you'll find uh, the USB firmware update as well as uh, two AAA batteries. Another thing they could probably improve upon is this opening because it is a little bit difficult to get. And just using my fingernails, I've already slightly damaged the plastic casing. Oh, not really damaged, but there's marks in it already. So maybe if they've improved it, made it like a rubber or made the opening a little bit easier, that's great. Also with the USB dongle, where does this go? Well, actually within this plate, there is a spot that you can slot the USB um, dongle in there. However, you'd have to open the case, which is a little bit annoying. So maybe if in, in hindsight, maybe if they had a, another place for it, that might be better. The other thing about it is that it's not backlit. So if you are holding a, uh, or if you are having a home theater system and you turn off the lights, you can't really see the buttons. So it would be nice if there was a button that, you know, it was backlit. But uh, overall, it's a pretty great device and it's nice and small and compact and it's inexpensive. So yeah, if you like this review and you want to see me do more of these, then like and subscribe and definitely don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi31. Thanks for watching.